In this video, we will show you how to design a patient-specific cranial plate. In this case, a plate connecting the lateral cuneiform bone and the third metatarsal. Duplicate the two bones to connect and group all original bone models into one folder and rename it Originals. Merge the two duplicates into one before hiding the Originals folder. Perform a wrap operation on the merged object, with a big gap closing distance to ensure smooth connection between the two bones. Make sure the Preserved Surface Contours option is toggled on. Import the STL model of the screw you're going to use with the Import Part function located in the File menu. Check that the scale coefficient is set to millimeter and click OK. From the Align menu, Use the interactive positioning tool to properly place the screw on the bone model by holding the right mouse button down while moving towards the right positioning. Set the screw as the entity and double check that the object coordinate system option is chosen. Duplicate the screw another three times and place the duplicates on the bone model where you want the plate to be fixed to the bones. Create some points on the bone surface to tailor the shape of your plate. Place the points on the interface between the wrapped and unwrapped model. Hide the bones so that only the screws and points are visible. From the Curve menu, select the Create Curve operation. The Free Curve option should be selected as the Curve Creation method. Make sure a tracked curve is unchecked. The best result is obtained when the curve is connected to the sides of the screws just below the beveled head. Connect the screws via the points. Do not close the curve as the next operation does not work on a closed curve path. A double click will end the curve creation operation. Create two additional curves to connect the points 2 by 2. Use the circular sweep tool from the design menu to join the screws with cylinders. Select the three curves and set the sweep diameter at 0.6 mm. Duplicate the screws and circular sweep parts before merging these duplicates into one model. Hide the originals. From the Design menu, select the Wrap tool. Wrap the merged part with a gap closing distance of 2.5 mm and smallest detail of 0.1 mm. The Wrap tool from the Design menu allows you to give an additional thickness to the wrapped result. Choose a resulting offset of 0.5 mm. After clicking Apply, your plate base is created. You can observe the result better by showing the combined lateral cuneiform and third metatarsal part and setting the transparency to high. To shape the implant to the anatomy of the patient, perform a Boolean subtraction between the base plate and the wrapped bones. This will make the plate fit perfectly onto the bones. Create holes for the screws by subtracting them from the plate. Perform an interactive translation on all four of the screws. Enable snapping at 0.51 mm to make them pop out of the surface of the implant. Perform a Boolean operation to acquire the final bone plate 
to which you can give a metal color via the Properties tab. Show the two feed bones and the screws to see the end result. You can visualize the result by changing the transparency of the bone. Make all original bones visible again to observe the plate on the foot. Thanks for watching this tutorial.